Hello again, my name is Paul Carco and I'm a technical marketing engineer for the Advanced Threat Solutions team here at Cisco. This is the third video in a series of short videos aimed to help you quickly deploy the Cisco Security Connector. So far in video one, Meraki Systems Manager, we have configured a Meraki network, a profile container associated with the network to be used to, the, to deploy the Cisco Security Connector, and its two app extensions, Clarity and Umbrella. We configured API access to the Meraki dashboard in order for AMP and Umbrella to seamlessly integrate with Meraki. In video two, we configured AMP for endpoints for API access to Meraki and configured the iOS Clarity extension for deployment via Meraki. In this third video, we'll configure Umbrella, bringing all three technologies together. Some of the benefits of the Umbrella app extension for Cisco Security Connector are Real-time visibility and control of who, example, an iOS identity, goes where, domain or URL. Defends against phishing attacks and accidental browsing to bad sites. Protects data against exfiltration to malicious destinations and encrypts internet DNS requests. Okay, so let's just jump in and configure Umbrella. So the first thing you want to do under identities or core identities navigate to mobile devices and you'll see we don't have any mobile devices yet and up on the top right hand corner we're going to link to MDM in this case Meraki MDM and we want to grab the key from video one the API key and we want to paste it here and click next we need to select the MDM profile so if you recall demo was the profile that we configured to deploy Cisco Security Connector to the supervised iOS devices and you just want to ensure that you've checked off provision umbrella root certificate very important that you do so and you save and that is all that's required to integrate umbrella with Meraki using the API access thanks for watching